Hi guys, today I'm playing the mysterious theory of Hoppity Town, where we investigate a string of thefts in Hoppity Town. Good morning ladies, gents, and non-binary friends. Simply Slippy here from the Froggy News Reporting. It's now 6 in the morning in Hoppity Town, and it seems the day will start out bright and sunny. But don't let your guard down, my slippery frogs. Because clouds will cover the rain, the sky, in the afternoon, and there's a big chance of rain. So you better not get soaked to the skin. Better be sure to carry a lotus leaf umbrella with you. Wouldn't want to ruin that nice shirt you guys are present, am I right? Good day, everyone. Slippy out. Oh dear, rain. I sure hope no one gets sick. Kids are so scatterbrained these days that they forgot to take care of themselves properly. Well, although there is nothing a warm cup of tea and a few of my homemade swamp cookies can't cure. Ah, speak of the frog. They must have finished baking. Hmm. Where could those sounds be? I think they're coming from upstairs. My beautiful bakery, who could have... No, stop! Thief! My mittens! They stole mittens? They just had to mess up the bakery in the process? Phew, finally done. Chris, what time is it? Almost 11.30 a.m., Gid. Gidget's office. Morning. What? No, we lost the whole morning? I was supposed to go to Mrs. Lollipop's later. Seriously, that again? You know, I can't live without my morning special, Chris. I need sugar in my system. But I love of frogs, pull yourself together already. If I hadn't convinced you to clean your office, you would have put it off. Again. Oh, come on. A little dust and occasional sweets never hurt anybody. A little? Occasional? Are you being serious right now? You should have drowned in a mountain of papers and sugar if I had stepped in. Jeez, what are you, my mom? Might as well be. Crest. I'm just messing around with you, kid. As long as the office doesn't turn into a pigsty, it's okay to be a little messy. Just remember that it's important to have a neat looking place if you expect to get more clients. Ugh, I hate it when you're right. Hmm? What's that, kid? Did you say something? Shut at you. <laughs> <sighs> oh well. Oh, for the love of- I know it's already not that early, but come on. Does he have to make all that noise every time? Guess he must be feeling really energetic, huh? Gidget, Croak is always energetic. At least he rings the doorbell, right? <sighs> I'll get it. It's criminal. Hello to see you too, Croaky. Oh, uh, hi, Midget. Bridget, I mean, ah, uh, Gidget. Please don't tell me it's another one of your let's see who catch the criminal first nonsense. Nonsense. I'll have you know the police force is extremely proficient at their doing their job. And unlike your private investigators with your questionable methods, you do it all in the name of the law. Real justice always prevails. Right. That's why I feel the need to give you a hint every now and then. Or your private investigators would be at a caustic impasse. Well, I don't doubt for a second that the police are more than capable at catching criminals. And getting a bit of info from the officer himself isn't something I'm about to reject anytime soon. Right, I knew you understand, Gidget. Then again, not all police officers have citizens' best interests at heart. There are some cases they deem it important. That's why we also need private investigate detectives. What do you think different skills and abilities should have a bigger purpose than just competing with each other? Um, yeah. Then tell us, Mr. Policeman, what's got you in such a hurry? Alright, I almost forgot. Mrs. Lipo's mittens were stolen. What? <laughs> I thought the thieves were gonna steal money, they only steal mittens. I came straight from her home. She actually wanted to see you, Gidget. She's afraid of another burglary taking place in her bakery, so she doesn't want to leave. Mrs. Lollipops. Wait a minute, this isn't the first bakery this week, isn't it? Not that she mentioned it. Unfortunately not. There have been a few more cases of home burglary this past few days. But the rest is classified information, so I can't tell you anything. What you told us is really helpful. Thank you, Croak. <sighs> no problem. But anywho, I must return to my own investigation at once. 
Maybe the detective, the best detective, catch the prophet? I said that sentence really wrong, sorry. Adios. Really, really quick. He's like a flash of lightning, that guy. Don't you think so, Gid? Gid? So according to Crooks, this is Lollyhop's mittens weren't the first item stolen this week. Do you think it's the same culprit? Already flipped your switch, huh? And you didn't even have any sweets yet. <sighs> I guess that means we should visit Mrs. Hops then. I mean, Lollyhop's then. Killing two birds with one stone, aren't we? You know me so well. It was a good thing we cleaned up. Then, now we'll be able to find your stuff more quickly. Uh. Aside from your magnifying glass, which might, may as well be part of your body, you do remember where you put your other tools, right? Yeah, about that. Gidget. Don't stop nagging, will you? I can find them just fine. Now, where did I put my tools? I already have my magnifying glass, so I'll need to be needing my notebook, my pen, and my gloves. Tutorial time to investigate. Pen and gloves. Gidget won't be able to use their full potential if she doesn't carry their tools. Click on the screen to check places where Gidget might have put them. Alright. Notebook. Map of Poppity Town. It's filled with various notes of important restaurant address. Ah, I mean, important clues! Oh, her drawers! We store several things over here. Chris likes to dust them regularly, so they're very clean. I also have to organize them today, so they're neat too. I should come he look here again after I find my notebook. Chris's desk. It's close to the window because Chris loves to bask in the sun. And also because there's less dust scattered over there. My desk, no office, never com complete that one, right? Right. What's this? Filled with all my books. Chris told me, no, demanded I buy this, because they couldn't stand the books piling up on the floor and they keep trip tripping over them. Oh, there's something here. Notebook adds to inventory. Trusty notebook for holding clues. Check. With this, I can write all the clues I find and then write important notes. Get your found their notebook. Try clicking on the notebook icon on the bottom right. You can check the notebook and clues. Found on the clues. Test one quarter in the inventory menu. All right. Check this. Aha, this must be... I'm glad I didn't misplace them. Or I tried to, at least. Gloves add to inventory. Gloves for avoiding leaving fingerprints and possibly touching dangerous substance with my bare hands. Check. Deer drawer. I keep most of my important stuff in there, close to my side. Or I, I try to, at least. Right, we need a pen. Trash, or I mean the trash can. With trash. I start Chris keep putting it closer and closer to my side. I know I'm messy, but come on. Mm -hmm. What's this? How about this? Okay, drawers. Okay. Oh, the pen. Pen added to the inventory. Blueberry ink pen for taking notes. Check. Hooray, you got all the tools. You got three detective points. Where are detective points? Well, I'm glad you asked. Gidget needs to collect detective points in order to solve the cases and get the best possible outcome. A low number of detective points may result in a bad ending, so be careful. How do you earn them? By questioning and investigating like a true detective. Bear in mind, though, that the amount of detective points you earn won't be shown to you from now on. You will have to wait until the end to find out your total amount. And last but certainly not least, I've got one final piece of information for you. You can end your investigation at any time by clicking on Crest. Good luck, invis detective. I keep saying investigator. Eureka, I'm ready now. <sighs> well, I'm glad you managed to find your tools quickly. Of course, who do you think I am? A very smart yet very messy detective. Ugh, let's just go. Mrs. Lollyhop's Bakery. Afternoon. Mrs. Lollyhops, are you okay? Wow, oh, that's a lot of police tape. Seems that Croak and other officers were quite busy for a while. Kitty dear, you're just in time. I just finished making mini cakes. Mini cakes? Weren't her mittens stolen? They must be no big mini cakes. Right? Are they no big mini cakes? I mean, I don't think even the police are that fast at catching culprits. 
That's right. She's shaking. I love to have some cakes, Mrs. Lollyhops. You also have that tea you made me try last time? It was very good. Yes, of course. Please do come in. I'll go ahead and prepare everything. Why don't you wait for me upstairs? Sure thing, Mrs. Lollyhops. Let's go, Crest. Dude, I'm not sure if I should. Don't be ridiculous. You know Mrs. Lollyhop isn't like that. She never treated you differently for being a gecko. Why would she do that now? Okay. Oh, is it a gecko? I can't really tell. Thank you for waiting, dear. Wow, everything looks amazing. Oh, flattery will get you nowhere, Gigi. I mean it, Mrs. Lollyhops. You've outdone yourself. I can't wait to devour the- Ahem, I can't wait to try these. <laughs> I brought some sugar too, because I know you like to sweeten your tea as well. Oh, Mrs. Lighthops. Jeez, do you have no self-control? I can't hear you. <sighs> what are you, three? A Mexican assistant, would you like a cup of, cup of tea? Oh, yes, that's very kind of you, Mrs. Lighthops. thank you. Who are you when you're done with Crest? Ow, that hurt. Gigi, dear, is everything all right? Uh, yes, everything's fantastic. Such a good cake. Mm-hmm. Damn, Gecko, they kicked me down the t they kicked me down the table. Um, but most importantly, shall we get back to business, Mrs. Flyhops? Would you like to tell us what happened? Ah, oh, yes. I'm afraid this incident has left me very confused, and I may not recall everything. I also know from the news that this isn't the first theory this week. Even the police confirmed it when they came earlier. But I don't understand. Who could possibly need a pair of mittens? They only have sentimental value. It's not something expensive. They even made sure to protect my door further with wooden bar. Her hands are shaking. Mrs. Lyhops, I would definitely catch the culprit. You have my word. Kitty, dear. And you don't have to worry about remembering everything exactly as it happened. No matter how small, any detail that comes to mind about the incident will be helpful. Alright. What happened? Was anything else stolen? Did you see the culprit's face or anything other features about them? Did you notice anything strange? Did you see the culprit's face? I'm sorry, Giddy. I'm afraid not. I only saw a bit of a shadow and... Yes? Oh, I thought maybe their eyes were deceiving me from their shock, but... It didn't look like a frog. Hmm, interesting. Okay, can I ask what happened? Let's see, I woke up around 4.30 a.m. as usual. It's really early. I can't wake really up that all the time. But I always like to do my baking very early. The science has me relax, and I strive for the baked goods I sell to be as fresh as possible. I can definitely attest to that. <laughs> Thank you, dear. Today, I thought I'd make my homemade recipe of swamp cookies for the bakery's morning special. So I finished making a big batch of them and put them in the oven. While I'm prepared to listen to Slipsy Slippy's weather report. Then, when my cooking timer ran, I heard the noise downstairs. A different noise? Not the cooking timer? That's right, I usually take cooking timer with me. So I can control the timing of the baking while I do other things. I see. Hmm. Could you describe the noise you heard? It was, I suppose it was similar to rustling and perhaps a sort of squelching? And the closer I got to the sounds, the louder they were. Of course, I thought it was odd. I even considered it could be the oven, so I went towards the noise and... Oh dear, it was awful. My beautiful, my beautiful kitchen was ransacked and there was mud everywhere. I was so shocked that I screamed. And then I noticed someone leaving my kitchen from the window, with my mittens no, mittens, no less. Okay, so the culprit escaped from one of the windows downstairs. Is there anything else stolen? Thankfully nothing else. But thanks to the awful thief, I couldn't take out my cooking in time and they got burnt. I just can't bake without my mittens. Poor Mrs. Lollyhops. It'd be trickery for an old lady to grab a tray without mittens. Dish towels aren't as heat resistant. Are frogs more sensitive to heat? I don't know. Okay, did you notice anything strange? Well, nothing other than my kitchen being a mess. That nerve of the thief, I tell you. I don't really understand where the mud came from either. It wasn't even raining at the time. Was it a creature that lives like in a muddy place? A toad? I don't know. This morning was pure sunshine. Hmm, where could the mud have come from? Well, that's all.
Mrs. Lyhop's testimony was added to the inventory. Mrs. Lyhop, would you mind letting us look at the crime scene? No, not at all, dearie. I thought you might even want to, so I didn't include anything, even after the police left. Thank you so much, Mrs. Lyhops. We'll try to be as quick as possible. I know it's not pleasant to have a messy home. Are you sure about that? Oh, shut it, Crest. You know what I mean. <laughs> Alright, it's mystery showtime. Okay, just remember not to rush, okay? I know you're very observant, but you can also be a bit impatient sometimes. Search carefully. <sighs> yes, Mom. <sighs> Let's do this, kid. On it, partner. At last, it's time to investigate with the cruiser to inspect places that look suspicious. Once you're done inspecting every nook and cranny, talk to Crest to let them know you're done. In fact, you can even tell them right now. No why would you do that? Unless... Unless what? Hmm. Yikes, that's a lot of muddy footprints. Ugh, you said it. It actually looks and smells like garbage from up close. Why the heck is it so slimy? Gross. Hmm. Chris, do you have a handkerchief? You should take a sample. I think Frog needs you to touch it directly. Here you go. Sample of slimy mud was added to the inventory. That would do it. Thanks, partner. I'm surprised you didn't use your gloves anyway. Ah, uh, well, I wouldn't mind if it was a little dirt, but this slimy mud could ruin them, and the gloves are at present after all. Croak would be beat red if you heard you say that, and probably croaking not stop. Hmm, still, these footprints also seem rather big to be a frog's. Muddy footprints added to the notebook. Alrighty. Click on him. Is there anything else suspicious? Suspicious. What is this? Bread rack seems to be okay, thankfully. Doesn't seem like the culprit messed with this. Hmm. Oh. Oh. It's right here. Click on this. Oh, it's a dirty handprint. It's rather big, don't you think? Yes, and it doesn't seem to have webbed fingers. Interesting. Alright. That was added. What's that? One of the cups is broken. I hope Mrs. Lyhops didn't step on it. Oh ho, are you worried, Crest? No, it's just, well, okay, maybe I am. She's an old lady who lives alone. How can I not be concerned? <sighs> don't worry, partner. From what I can tell, she was walking normally and also wearing boots, so I don't think her feet got hurt. That's good, then. Although, I wonder why Mrs. Lyhops didn't mention any crashing sounds. Was this really done during the incident? Wouldn't the broken cup normally be on the floor? Maybe Mrs. Lyhops herself put it away so that nobody would step on it. Hmm. But she didn't say she didn't touch anything to preserve the crime scene. I'll have to keep this in mind. Okay. What's this? Oh no! What? What is it? Do you find something bad? Dreadful. Horrible. The swamp cookies were completely burnt. <laughs> Why are you looking at me like that? It is bad news. You're not going to intimidate me with that stare, I tell you. Okay, okay, fine. The cookies themselves aren't that relevant. <laughs> You're right. Kid, I knew you were a very capable detective who doesn't get distracted by trivial nonsense. Yeah, well, it's a shame that I couldn't try the morning special, but at least I got... Don't you dare finish that sentence. A piece of cake? Ugh, bad puns, my worst enemy. I thought your worst enemy was messiness and dirt. Yes, which is exactly why I wanted to get out of here as quickly as possible before I actually start cleaning myself. You and your germophobia. But wait, even if Mrs. Lollipops, Lollipops, keep calling her Lollipops, got her mittens stolen, couldn't she have just used a dish towel or turned the oven off? That's what I was thinking. Hmm, dish towels aren't very heat resistant. She probably would have burnt her hand if she tried that. Besides, with the whole burglary incident, I imagine she might must have been feeling quite panicked. She probably forgot to turn off the oven. Not that's true. Burnt swamp cookies add to the notebook. Okay. Not much of a difference from the floor, huh? This has a lot of mud too. Well, at least there's less mud here. Still gross though. 
Hang in there, Crest. We won't take long. Anyways, from the looks of it, it seems the culprit really escaped from here. This slimy mud, could it have come from a swamp? It could have, right? I would like the morning special, please, with extra icing. Now I'd like a million dollars. Actually, so would I. Wait, really? Imagine all this we could buy. All the restaurants I could visit. <sighs> Why am I not surprised? As if you're any better, you're probably spending a, a lot buying the best cleaning supplies you get your hands on. What? No, I would. Okay, yeah, that's fair. Gotcha. Let's see what else is suspicious. Oh, this is where customers pay. There can be such a long line sometimes. Well, I have to give it to Mrs. Lipaw, Hops. Who would have thought her morning special would be enough incentive for you to wake up so early? That's right, be proud of me. If only you didn't fall asleep after eating your breakfast. Well, at least I wake up when clients come to the office. Five minutes before, you mean. Oh shit, I get go. I'm also awake whenever Crokey comes to visit. It's not exactly a hard accomplishment, but oh well, you win some, you lose some. I know I was your favorite boss. Good, you're my only boss. Details, details. Oh, with speaking of, it seems the cash register wasn't used today. Well, I can imagine Mrs. Lyhops was robbed this morning after all, so she probably closed the shop for today. Yes, that too, but I'm talking about the culprit. It didn't seem to didn't steal any money, so it wasn't a regular thief. Oh, you're right. Yeah, I think they even steal any money, which is really weird. So I want to get a lot of points, so I gotta make sure- I want to get the best ending. Uh, I think that's everything. This is broken, but it's not. Mm. I think that's everything. Alright, let's click on Crest. Alright, we're done here. Yeah, I don't think there's anything left. Way to go, partner. Let's investigate somewhere else now. Mrs. Lyhops, thank you for allowing us to investigate the crime scene. And of course, for inviting us to that wonderful afternoon tea. Oh my. It was my pleasure, Giddy. Giddy? Giddy. Were you able to find anything in your investigation? Sure did, which is why we must bid you farewell for now. I'm afraid this case isn't so simple. We need to, do, to investigate other areas. No, oh dear, please be careful, dear. I wouldn't want you to being hurt. Don't worry, Mrs. Lyhops. Gidget is a bit reckless sometimes, but she is a great detective. And I'll be right by her side in case anything happens. That was meant for you too, Cressy, dear. Take care of yourself now, hear me? Yes, thank you. Take care of yourself too, Mrs. Lyhops. Oh, what's this? Is the gecko feeling embarrassed? Oh, I missed it. <laughs> I went too fast. Poppy Town Evening. Alright, well, I'm gonna end this here today. Because we're done with the investigation so far. So good. <laughs>